Dimensional modeling in depth is our most popular class. This is the core foundation class. In some ways, our reputation revolves around the topics in this, this particular class because this is the heart of the set of techniques that we invented for the data warehouse and business intelligence system design. This class is intended for architects, modelers, analysts, whether they're working in the business intelligence space directly or whether they're working in the, the database administration space, there's a whole spectrum of interests and skills that, that are needed to be appreciated by the, the designers of, of these kinds of systems. Our classes range from basic techniques to advanced techniques. And one of the interesting things about that spectrum of, of skills that, that we serve in these classes is that even the really basic beginning users find the advanced topics to be useful because even though they don't understand the implications, they can't put them into use immediately, they know that they're out there, they know they're going to get to them. And conversely, the advanced people have a similar reaction. They say, it's really good to hear the basics again because they're, they're precisely and succinctly stated in a way that just helps me refine my vocabulary and, and, and make my thinking even more precise. So we go over all sorts of, of classic topics from dimensional modeling, including the definition of fact tables and dimension tables and all of the many patterns of, of those kinds of, of tables that, that you typically encounter in these designs. We talk in detail about something that we invented called slowly changing dimensions. They are sometimes called SCDs. The first time I heard that abbreviation, I didn't know what they were, but it was something I had invented and other people had coined the, the abbreviation, so that was, that was a, a pleasant surprise. We also talk a great deal about solving a very, very hard problem in the, in the world of data, which is tying together databases that are not meant to be used with each other. And the secret for that is something called conform dimensions. So we show the designers how to build conform dimensions in a way that is agile and incremental and non-disruptive to, to the underlying systems and the underlying applications that already work. Our, all of these classes, and, and this class in particular, are a combination of lectures and little group workshops, individual exercises, and a little bit of homework. So we keep the people busy for four days. They know that, that they've been to a Kimball class at the end of, the, of these, these times. Additionally, we talk about some structures that are really important, like something we call the bus matrix. It's a kind of control diagram that we use that is useful for communication with executives, useful for technical planning, and useful for just seeing if the design is complete. So that's another very characteristic part of, of the Kimball class and the dimensional modeling class in particular. We also finish off with a kind of modern perspective on some developing topics real-time data warehousing and low latency delivery of data, and of course, the big topic of the day, the big data. And where is that headed? What has that got to do with, with the, the regular IT world? And how are these going to merge together in our opinion?